watching me this morning. It's great. Stop what you're doing. <laughs> that means you, sir. <laughs> Get off I, and, and watch the show. Why is it that noontime shows always come in three hosts? It's always three. No, let's not forget Tito, Vic, and Joey. Hello. I know it's a different station. There's uh, Jim, Danny, and Boo Boy. The Apple, right? Sina pa? Mga three. Yung tatlong itlog. Bayani, Gary, and Ben Tong. And then, of course, the uh, three MTV hosts of ladies. Anyway, the uh, Christine, Vanessa, and Amy, right? And, of course, we shouldn't also forget Willie, John, and Randy, who started MTV. But now there's a new trio in town. And we want to know what they've got in store for us for MTV. They call themselves the Watamen. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Hey. They, and that, they call themselves. No one else calls them, you see. They call... Oh. <laughs> we have two out of the three because the third is not feeling well. And the show must go on. So let's have them here on the show. Let's welcome Watamen, Dominic Ochoa, yeah. and Rico Yan with Marvin Agustin in spirit. What's up? Oh, don't tell me you're changing your whole image now just for this show, all right? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hi. Have a seat. Always have a, a seat. to be here. What yes. a man, what a man, what a, what a man, what a man, what a man, what a dirty old man. Yes, and uh, to correct your previous statement, oh, Marvin three is here. Oh, Marvin is here. I'm sorry. Marvin is here. He is present. <laughs> in spirit and... Uh, with her ever with most the, uh, famous... Pose. With the yes. Manny Villar uh, frame, huh? Yes. Okay. God knows what he's covering, Marvin, but hey, he's still here, right? <laughs> All right. Okay. Is it kailangan do pagkita ng picture? Frame don yung ito. Kani nung picture yan? Sa inyo AD si John Villarreal. Okay. Oh my God. Well, we'll let them uh, talk with each other right yeah. there. And now okay. we have the two of you to speak on their behalf anyway. Oh, although we, we may have an answer or two from Marvin. Yes, yeah? yes. He's okay. ready to uh, answer. Let's see how this goes. Now, what a man. Who, I want, it sounds like an Amy Paris title. I don't know. Who, who thought of what a man? It's uh, me. Me. I, I did. Really? This happened about three years ago. Okay. We were taping for Gimmick. Anyway, um, we were supposed to be done by 11. We were right. shooting our last scene. And for some reason, the three of us just kept cracking jokes, and this guy kept on laughing. Okay. Okay. And because of that, our director, Lauren Joggi, got mad at us and decided to save our scene for the last. To make it longer. Eh? Yeah, make it longer. So really we ended up off. shooting okay. the same scene at around 9 a.m. And then we realized, that, okay, okay, I guess we can't fool around anymore. And then during the scene, <laughs> we decided to call ourselves the What A Men. And then that's when we started dancing, dancing like crazy, and that's what sparked everything. So this team, this tandem, or the three, this, this trio, actually, yes. um, it's, it's always been... The three of you? For some reason, it's a product of uh, long friendship. No, but after that, um, there was a time that Rico and Marvin went to TJ's and uh, they started calling me. Then we were just talking about, hey, hey, uh, why don't we join or why don't we ask um, the people, the Upstairs, management to mm -hmm. give us a job, damn it. Give us a no. portion. Um, as a trio. As a as trio in MTV. Yeah. So before that, we, we wanted the hosting job first before the Wataman sitcom. Okay. Then they gave us the Wataman sitcom. So okay, na rin, pwede na rin. Okay, so Wataman is a sitcom. Right. Sitcom. But on MTV, you're not known as Wataman. Yes, we are. We, we still are. are. Okay. We, are. we still are. Um, because now I of, got it. Well, we have, a, we have a, uh, an 11 o'clock show every Sunday. It's called Star Studio. Studio. Right. So that's where we started as a, as a trio. We started taping a couple of episodes, uh, sitcomish mm -hmm. uh, episodes. And then eventually it became, um, people got wind of the three of us and how we gelled. All right. So I think they, they placed us in MTV. Which is great. I mean, a lot of people like what you guys have to offer. The other two, John and Randy, have something else to offer. I want to know this. Who's the oldest, the wisest? And the most professional among the three. <coughs> well, <coughs> oldest has to be him, but why is this the most professional? Uh, <laughs> no, no, I was kidding. Um, he's the el he's the eldest. He's uh, yeah, he, he's professional. I mean, uh, to be honest, he he comes on time. Okay. Yeah, and um, what is Mar Marvin? What is your role? Uh, if 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 Dominic is the oldest, Rico is the wisest. What are you, Marvin? Well, 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 Martin, first and foremost, good evening. It's always a pleasure to bear her. And um, to, to be honest, you know, the only thing that I like to do is um, uh, the, if, if Dominic is the wisest and I'm, uh, if Dominic is the eldest and I'm Enrico's the wisest, 
I, I guess, has, I have the... Professionalism. The most, the most beautiful body. The most beautiful body yes, goes to yes. Marvin Agustin. All right. Who's the Totoy? Marvin totoy, Bay. the meaning of Marvin Totoy Bay. is? I think Marvin. it's Marvin. Marvin, Marvin. 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 That's, that's also Marvin. Okay, that's Marvin. Who's the maniac? Dominic. Dominic. Federico. Federico. It, it, I, I Rico, guess you know that, that baby face, I wouldn't hurt a fly image, not going to stay with you forever, okay? So admit it's, it, it's not you Robin. are the maniac. No. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> He's That's a maniac. Little Chick boy. Uh, I guess it's um I guess it's Dominic and Marvin. Okay. Because if I were if I were to say <laughs> I was too, then maybe I'd get I'd In get butt whacked. Big <laughs> trouble. <laughs> With the great reputation or what the three on MTV had before. They were naughty. They were sassy, sometimes bastos to the point of being reprimanded every so often. I mean, it's in the papers. I'm not making this up. Um, what, are the, what the men? What, what the men? What are you guys going to be standing for? What is your... What do you think your role on MTV, first of all, before the sitcom? What is your role there? What is your participation? What do you have to offer that the other three, or now the other two, uh, don't have or won't do? You know what I'm saying? What is your role, ba, talaga? First and foremost, giving credit to John and Randy. Uh, I believe that they're, they're doing a great job as mm -hmm. the hosts mm -hmm. of MTV. Definitely, I'm not taking that away. Yeah, but I think... You know what I'm saying? I just want to see what the contrast will be. What yeah. do you think your role is, your responsibility? Our, what we can contribute to MTV and, to, uh, and as hosts in general is really to give the audience a new perspective in, right. in comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, something, uh, hopefully... Youth, the youth. Yeah, yeah, hopefully a bit more wholesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess... I guess something simpler. So simple playful comedy. would take the place of naughty. Uh, simple and wholesome would be the medio mature and, and a little bit borderline. No? Yes, because I think that the three of us feel that we have a moral obligation to um, the, the youth, to the youth, that we should more or less Even as, as independent uh, artistas, you have that same responsibility. That's right. That's correct. Now, as a trio, it's, it's, it's all time the more. All the more. All the more. Yes. Again, I'm not trying to say there's anything wrong with what Randy or John is doing. I'm just saying that they have... A certain niche now yes. in MTB, what was yours to be, and that's a good one. Yes, that's You that's agree it. with that, Dominic? I think um, we've got more responsibility uh, in terms of how we're supposed to act right, right. and how we're supposed to host. We have to be more conscious about what we say because right. um, we're trying to cater to a younger, right. yes. younger crowd. In short, our demeanor is very critical to right. the, in the eyes of the public. Right, right, right. right. And it's, it's, it's pretty hard. And Pero where you've come in on MTV, being the number one noontime show in the country, yes. it's a very big responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very, yeah, very big. No very pressure big. on you. Now I want to no. ask Marvin. Marvin, <clears throat> Marvin, what, is, what, is, uh, what do you think, Marvin? Dominic, I want to ask Marvin this one. What, is Dominic, uh, what does Dominic have that you and Rico don't have, Marvin? Well, Martin, um, <laughs> from my perspective, uh, uh, I, I simply feel that Dominic just has less hair than, than myself and Rico, but okay. uh, I guess that's it. And he's older, and, and he's I older. think he's uh, a bit more conservative in the way he dresses. What a friend, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mr. The Donut. Man. The man. Uh, and, and Dominic, what do you think Rico has to offer that, that you don't have? Let's talk about it. Wholesome bio. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I changed the question. I, I guess he has. He's got brains. He's got. Uh... Okay. Get out of here. We, Come we'll on. stop with the brains. No, 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 no. You pick it up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel you have to play different roles to make it blend? I think it's I, it's the contrast of our personalities okay. that make us drive as a trio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I I think that's that's what that's the root of everything. And what does Marvin have that you guys don't have? Oh, a big nose. Big nose. <laughs> It's, it really sucks not to be here, Marvin, if you were only here to defend yourself. You're we're going to talk about their working relationship after we do a few... Com Marvin, take us to commercial, Marvin. Okay. Marvin. Um, ladies and gentlemen, don't go away. Martin, Martin. late at night, will be right back. <laughs> I'll be back. right back. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> And I, they, they said before the commercial break that they always they, they, they hung out together a lot. 
yes. to the point of really being knowing each other. We don't call each other well. anymore. We no see more. each other every day. Every day. And, yeah. It's so, what are the other things? That, now that you don't have that time, when you have the time, what do you do to bond? Do you, do, do you guys still go out as you did before you got this gig? These guys, which uh, I have to admit, they're my confidants. Mm -hmm. uh, problems, uh, joys, you know, pains. These guys know, know everything about me. In, they know me inside out. Ano mo madrama? Drama mo hindi. Hindi, ito naman eh. Yeah, pero aside, I guess that's our own version of bonding because admittedly we're, we're together six out of seven days. Mm -hmm. So that's... I and even before that, before we had MTV. Yeah. So, I mean, you could say, because everyone's asking, everyone's tataka parang, magkaibigan ba talaga kayong tatlo? Uh -huh. Kami din, hindi nagagamitan lang kami. Kami din naman para kumita. It's just plain work, man. No, sometimes people think that, you know, we have we have a lot of geniuses in this in this station that they just put the three together, like a combination. But you really are friends. You really yes, are yes. We were How unfortunately. For, for, your, for your individual careers, is this daily show going to be a conflict? With your schedules, with your studies, whatever it is that you're doing before you got this gig? Well, considering the fact that John and Randy, plus the three of us, target a wider audience. Right. Uh, we would like to assume that hindi naman siguro to makakapekto sa mga careers namin. Mm -hmm. We would like to think that um, being in a noontime show will in fact uh, increase our target audience. Right. So that More whenever massa. we do come out in a, in a movie in a movie or in a TV show plus. as our individual selves, it's a plus. It's a plus. It's a plus. Uh, yeah. as, as far as your individual lives are concerned, the, there's no such thing as overexposure in this country, you know that. You just become larger than life with every project that you do. Now that you are on a daily show, on a number one, in a, the noontime show is like the, the show of each station, right? right. You're in ABS-CBN, we have MTV. That's now your baby. Do you think that you'll be able to handle the what's, what's next? The fame, the schedules, the demands? Oh, wow. I guess it's time management, so... Uh, We'll try. Young fame, siguro. It's something that, it's something that I don't think any man can handle mm. without the guidance and supervision of God. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know that uh, mm -hmm. we're Christians yeah. all together. So, uh, we we the three of us strongly believe that in order to handle fame and popularity the right way, mm -hmm. we have to put our faith and trust in God mm -hmm. that He will lead us and He will keep us humble. Right. And John John the game the same them. answer, no? John and Charlie gave us the same... Didn't John give us the same answer? Really? No. Just joking. Which is great. A perfect combination. The best of all, of all sides, yeah. really, which is very good. Now, how is your relationship with the other hosts? Pretty good. Very great, peachy. Right? Yeah, great, peachy. Great. So great. far, it's yeah. been great. Yeah, I mean, with, with uh, <coughs> Christine, Kuya Dick, Ami, Vanessa. Yes, they're great with John and Randy. Mm -hmm. Panalo. Pana Panalo. Panalo. Yeah, he, he taught me how to say it right too. Panalo. <laughs> okay. And with the uh, Intatlong Itlog, si Bayani Bentongari, they're, they're a barrel of laughs. I'm sure. Oh, God. Kuala, kuala you, you will never stop laughing once you're with them. What have you learned from the more senior hosts, like, for instance, John and Randy? What have they already taught you? Without even having to say, do it like this. What, have you, what would you like to ha have learned from their style, from their delivery, from their hosting? I think from energy? hosting, um, just try to listen first and react. Mm. Yeah, that's right. And I think it's really the repartee. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, that's, that's one thing that John and Randy have right. that is very, very admirable. They can converse and throw lines at each other, at right. each other, just... They feed off each other. Yeah, like yeah. clockwork. Galing. Right. Galing nila. And they've got, now you've got it. You've got your chance to... Take yeah, it to the next level. We're still practicing. practicing. Yeah, so still they practicing. Have to say, Fingers crossed. We'll yeah. be back with Mr. Donut and his friends. <laughs> Don't go worry. Mm -hmm. Hosting is a new thing for you? No, I, I've been hosting for since years. I started. Okay, yeah. aside from let me read it along. Aside from Rico, <laughs> hosting is someone uh, somehow new to you. What preparations? Have you made? Um, I guess. Uh, I guess listen. I guess listening to your uh, mas mm -hmm. and and try to accept criticisms 
the listening. more listening, listening is more good. Elderly. El el <laughs> listening is good, though. Yeah. Elderly. You were yeah. talking about that in, in my world of music. You, you cannot be stubborn and say, no, I'm sticking to what I know. And right. the, more, the, the more you listen, the better you become. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people um, around us, our predecessors, always tell us that life is always about knowledge. It's about, it's, it's about learning. Yeah. You can't just stop and say, I know everything. I know everything. Yeah. And I'm going to go in life with what I know. Right. No, it's, it's, you have to just keep on learning. But that's very hard for young men, like yo, young people in, in general. When you get the fame. Is that a No? You know what I mean? You, or, <laughs> between you and me, you're a young man, all right? But the actual, uh, when someone gets very popular and gets full of himself, it's very hard to, to listen. To, to to learn. It's very, all the things you just said, it's hard to do all those things if you are full of yourself, which is something that if I was a host of MT, that's the first thing I would tell you, is always listen. Learn from your mistakes yeah. and, and, and keep improving yourself. Yeah. What are some of the stupidest and craziest things they made you do in MTV? They made me dance. Yeah. <laughs> you should be doing what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get, I, that's why I hire the best dancers money can buy, man. I get Hello, hot legs. Yeah, the hot Get legs your legs really over great. here, man, and yeah. dance for me. Make me look good. I love yeah. those people. By the way, the hot legs were great dancers during your the concert. concert. They were the best. They did a great, yeah, great job. Uh, I wasn't able to watch it. You, you, well, it's, you should have watched it. <laughs> yeah, I have to yeah. do it again now. And now, how do you? Are, have there been already differences on the set? No, no way. I, I have a better idea, or has someone kind of talked more than the other? You know what I'm saying? How do you handle that? Or will handle that? It's, it's not really a question of whether... Uh, we never really had any differences uh, behind the set. Because uh, one thing about one thing nice about this trio uh, is that we were friends even before this right. trio was formed. Right. So as friends, we really give to each other. We're we give what is due to them. Yeah. And uh, we receive what is due to us. Mm -hmm. so, so never once... Uh, I mean, also, I find myself, when I'm, when, if I'm friends with somebody, when I'm friends with somebody, um, I find myself adjusting more than giving. Are you the kind of friends who can say, wait, 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 you're wrong? Can yeah. you do that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you do this in this in, friendship? In contrast to, well, or Norman, you to Marvin, but I think, because of me and Marvin, Marvin, because he's the youngest. If there's, if we find him, if we find him going too way out of left yeah. here, we kind of put him back on track. You kind of tell him that, Marvin, pare, you know, relax. You're the, you're the kind of friends that hindi pipi ko, hindi hayop yan, ano makakalam sa akin, ha? Hindi naman. Sikat naman ako, ha? Because this guy is the type of guy that we can really tell him off. We can really, we can really tell him na, oh, you may have a gunner, tigil mo, batawang ito. You know, yeah, that's important. something like that. And, yeah. and with, with due respect to Marvin, he takes it very well. He takes it very constructive. He's a listener too, sure. huh? Listener. Yeah, yeah. And this guy, believe it or not, this guy knows a lot. Mm -hmm. He also tells us. He also tells us off. He also mm -hmm. tells. He tells me sometimes now. He could have been so mom, pang it, pang it. Here, <laughs> take my sweater, <laughs> <laughs> and I won't give you it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the kind of friends you are. You don't give it back. <laughs> now, the lifespan of a TV show, and I should, I should also learn from what I'm about to say, is very short these days. Gone are the days of signing a contract of five or six years, and it's like 13 episodes to a year, whatever. Um, what are your expectations? How long do you think what a man? will be on MTV? I think our expectation lies in our ability uh, to commit to our work. Mm -hmm. As long as we have this commitment to perform to the best of our abilities, we feel that our lifespan here in this business will increase. We're thinking of mo more long term. Eh? Mm -hmm. You yeah. are thinking long term. Yeah. Not just fly by night, uh, spur no. of the moment. Uh, no. Here today, gone tomorrow. Yeah, he he, he thinks long term. He's getting old. <laughs> us, us young <laughs> ones, you know, we're like oh, us young ones. Yeah, yeah. Right, kiss the ass of the host. It always works. <laughs> works for me, you know. <laughs> Put their ages together. It's my age, but he's kissing my ass. It work. It's working. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> young men like us, huh? Yep. That would be Thank you very much for your furniture that we play on. Uh, leasing okay. Arts and Interiors with Trapped Alberta Shoes. Uh, Bong Bellia Pratt Annapolis, ABS CBN Publishing. It's Metro Star Studio Sky Guide. Food Link and Chalk. And of course, Don and Rico's for getting us all fat again. Actually. No? Yeah. Come on over. Oh. Join me. That's
Aiden Hap ka ba na? Aiden Hap. Pamang pareho tayo. Aiden Hap. Aiden Hap. I'll just give you Alberto shoes sa certificate na lang. Good luck to you guys, really. You have a very tough task ahead of you. No pressure. I don't mean to say that you have pressure, but just to let you know that we are all counting on you. We're all rooting for you. And Marvin, who's not really feeling well, all jokes aside. But we wish the three of you luck, and we wish the show MTB to continue to be the number one noontime show in the country. They have a secret weapon. They're called What a Man. God bless you, Philippines. Good night. Bye-bye. Ha, ha, ha.